Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on Legends of the Hidden Temple, episode 5 entitled The Hindu Legend of Rama. And the official synopsis of episode 5 is Contestants Josh and Nick, competitors on the original series in the 90s, return to compete as a team. And before I give up my review, please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what I should review next. Episode 5 was not a bad episode pretty good when it came to some of the games and a surprising return guest as well here is just my review on this episode so the teams that are playing in this episode are the blue barracudas the orange iguanas the red jaguars and the silver snakes and all i have to say is that finally somebody is playing as the orange iguanas as we have now seen all of the six teams in the revival series it was about time well honestly the moat game you could say was probably somewhat difficult for many of the teams as they had to swim to different bowls that was on top of two different snakes they had to describe and identify different symbols connect them and correctly match them and everything and hang them and then they had to swim to shore and then break the bowls in two and the red jaguars and the silver snakes struggled profusely when it came to it, especially the silver snakes. And long story short, the teams to advance were the blue barracudas, the orange iguanas, and the red jaguars. The steps of knowledge, what can I say? Nothing really surprising happened. Um, the blue, the blue barracudas was on a mission, and they became the first team to advance as. They answered almost every single question that they could without any of the teams interrupting. The orange iguanas briefly catched up. They advanced as well, while the red jaguars didn't do jack crap. And long story short, they didn't advance. And honestly, one of the teammates definitely looked salty in the face, like she was pissed off or some. But at the same time, though, you should have stepped a lot faster and everything goes. The first temple game was timed and teams had to find and identify missing gems and place them on trees and everything, the correct ones, and whoever made it the fastest would win. And it seemed as if like the orange iguanas was about to win because they had a good pace going and everything, but somehow, some way, the blue barracudas was on a mission once again and they basically won with like 18 seconds left and everything. The second game was a lot more complex as each team had to build a walking path and everything, catch swinging monkeys while still building the bridge and catch them and everything. They had to catch like five of them and just make it back to the bridge without falling and whoever made it first or the fastest won. And long story short, the blue barracudas they won once again, and it was now time for the temple games. And the artifact was located in the room of the beloved, and it was a pearl necklace. And Nick and Josh, they are contestants from the original series back in the 1990s. They both competed in seasons one and two, and unfortunately, they lost both times when they were in the temple games. The Temple Games, they start off pretty smooth and everything. Nick, he immediately catches guard with a Temple Guard and he moves on. And we got the biggest surprise and maybe the WTF moment of the show. Kurt Fogg makes his long-awaited return in the Dark Forest to encourage the players to keep going, to keep fighting to the artifact and everything. And it was definitely nice to see Kurt Fogg. Some people said that he was coming back. I didn't believe it, but he actually does make an appearance and he is apparently supposed to be in the next four episodes as well. So it was cool to see Kurt Fogg. Really cool to see him. And it seemed as if like the Blue Barracudas was about to get vengeance and win the Temple Games as... Josh was able to get the artifact of the pearl necklace and unfortunately he ran out of time had they had like five more seconds they would have won 
And that is how the episode basically ends. I felt like this was not a bad episode, to say the least. Um, it was pretty interesting to see old contestants from the original series come back once again and actually make it to the Temple Games once again. Like, Josh and Nick, they was on a mission, and it didn't end like the way they wanted to, but they came a lot closer than they did it last time. Kurt Fogg making his appearance, making a small cameo appearance was really nice and everything. I was actually was really excited to see him at the Dark Forest. Although I do wish that they would have used him just a little bit more and everything. But it was still really good to see Kurt Fogg. It really was. But out of all, not a bad episode. I really did not have much else to say about it. I would say thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.